you have the quartet, the yes. Black Cobra Quartet, yep. and you are on the fourth one. So we do see in your latest book, we do see it kind of come to a head, and we do see, um, you know, the the evil villain. Oh, and yes. I won't I won't give any spoilers. No, 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 don't. But the the villain oh, come, yes, come the villain. to life. Comes to light, yes. And uh, can I don't can you can you talk a little bit about the quartet and mm -hmm. and what the readers have seen so far? Okay, what the readers the basic uh, concept of the quartet was that uh, you start off with these four guys in uh, Bombay who are carrying independently by uh, independent routes, and it was a little bit of a different quartet because all the four stories are running concurrently. Therefore, um, so they're over the same time period. Uh, each of these four uh, heading back from Bombay to London or to England um, carrying back a piece of uh, evidence and three of them are decoys and one of them has the original and the original has to get through in order to bring down the villain who they've been chasing for a long time and he's a really really nasty villain um, really has to be stopped uh, so uh, that's their uh, I suppose their uh, project, their their mission, that's what it is, their mission. And uh, they take the, the mission through and so we're following each of the quartet, we followed the first three, um, just they're not the first three in the sense that they're all happening at the same time, but we've, we've gone through three and the th they happen to be the three decoys. So the fourth book is the one who has the original and that's Rafe Carstairs and he's going by a completely different route to that of the other three, uh, although all the other three also had different routes. So we've been, we've been sort of seeing quite a lot of the world. And in the fourth book, we see an even larger hunk of the world in the sense that uh, we actually go through Europe. And uh, we go through Europe. The, the action in the book leads us from um, the Transylvanian Alps through to uh, we go up the Danube, then we go down the Rhine, so to Rotterdam. So that's where they cross into England. So we have quite a lot of um, interesting. We have a journey scenery. ahead of us. We we do have a journey in the Reckless Bride. In the one, I I one thing that really struck me about it was that Rafe, your your hero, he really has a lot to overcome emotionally. Like he really is very damaged, I want to say, mm -hmm. from, from things that have happened in his past and things that he feels responsible for. And sometimes it's very painful for both us and for Loretta, his he heroine, mm -hmm. to, to really follow that with him and to see how much he really has been affected. Was that yep. difficult for you to watch him go through that? Yes, to some extent, um, because you could actually, it was set up right in the beginning in the um, prelude. Uh, you could see that this guy was going to be carrying a certain amount of baggage and it really was uh, what sort of heroine would and how would this come out um, as he goes through the, the latter stages of the journey? How would it affect him? And um, it had to be him who was carrying the, the original. It obviously had to be him. And because uh, it has to be him who actually faces the black copper in the end. And uh, it was it was sort of quite, it was a bit more, I suppose, had a different sort of depth of emotion because it wasn't just the emotion of the hero and the heroine, it also had another level of um, healing, I suppose. Yeah, and then at, at the end, we do we do get a great, I want to say there is a great <laughs> conclusion. You have to check this out. Everything everything gets wrapped up, and it's yep. very satisfying yes. to, see, to see what happens because we have been following this for four books. Exactly. And so I was so happy to see to see that, that ending and, and, and how everything shakes down because it really does work out. Oh, good. good.